Hi, I'm uh, Chris Thompson for Investor Intel. And today I'm speaking with JC Potvin, the chairman, CEO, and president of Murchison Minerals, uh, ticker symbol MUR on the TSX Venture Exchange. How are you today, JC? Great, uh, Chris. Uh, thanks for hosting me. Uh, great. So, for those investors who may not know uh, much about Murchison, uh, what can you uh, tell them about your various projects? Sure, uh, Chris. Uh, Murchison is a junior. Uh, mineral development company. We have one ore body in Saskatchewan. It's a VMS type deposit. Uh, also have a very interesting nickel, copper, cobalt uh, project in Quebec called uh, HPM. And we're earning in 100% interest or towards 100% interest in uh, another project north of Valdor, uh, which is basically also a VMS type uh, you know, project area. Great. Large, so large uh, just focusing on uh, the Saskatchewan project right now, uh, you look like you're looking for some of the what we call the battery metals, uh, and you have an yep. existing resource. What can you uh, tell us more about that project? Uh, sure. The Brabant McKenzie deposit, it's a BMS type deposit. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, been drilled. There's a resource, uh, which uh, if you combine the inferred and the uh, indicated uh, categories that uh, totals about uh, 9.7 million tons of uh, pretty decent grades of uh, uh, it's basically I would classify it as a high grade uh, zinc uh, uh, copper silver deposit it's uh, extremely well located uh, excellent infrastructure great province to be in um, it, it's a nice place to be so uh, what did you do there in Saskatchewan this summer uh, summer we, we did a couple of holes of uh, basically I would call that uh, pure uh, exploration. Uh, we, we identified uh, some mineralization, uh, not uh, unfortunately not, not economic, uh, but it's uh, it's uh, that it's outside the uh, the main deposit, which is the Rabbit McKenzie deposit. So it, it was pure exploration. Uh, so we intend to do some infill drilling and outfill drilling on the deposit itself uh, this uh, uh, you know next winter, uh, next spring. And did you do some MET work that I see in a news release? Yes, uh, Chris, we did some metallurgical work. In fact, uh, that's from uh, samples that we collected in the drilling last uh, February. Uh, on the deposit itself, uh, all the work was done by the SRC lab in Saskatoon. Um, the uh, lab technicians were uh, all excited about the, uh, the great performance <laughs> we had in, in recovering the, uh, you know, the zinc. Uh, it floats extremely well, uh, very high recoveries. Uh, uh, they told us we should expect to get uh, well over 90% uh, overall, you know, recoveries for the uh, zinc into a concentrate. So uh, of good quality, um, uh, very low impurities. Um, so we're, we're, we're very, very pleased with uh, those results. Great. And switching over to the HPM project in Quebec, and that's your nickel, copper, cobalt, uh, three, you know, very valuable minerals these days mm -hmm. as the electric, electrification uh, of the network uh, requ requires these, especially on EV and um, et cetera. Uh, what did you do there this summer? Uh, well, I'll, I'll go back to uh, September last year. We sent some uh, uh, three geologists to go prospect, go chase up uh, some of the historical uh, showings. Uh, they came back with uh, 47 samples uh, collected at seven different sites. Uh, every single sample had some values of nickel, copper, cobalt. So we commissioned a uh, detailed magnetic uh, survey, and then subsequent to that, a, 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 an airborne uh, EM survey came out with nearly 50 different conductors of very, uh, very good quality. Uh, so in early June, we sent four geologists um, on site, um, and again, to sample a, a number of these targets, uh, focused on one particular target called the PYC. Uh, it extends for nearly two kilometers. It's uh, up to 59 meters wide, um, pervasive you know, uh, semi-massive to massive sulfides right on the surface. You can you can collect samples uh, all you want. Uh, it, it's a, it's a very exciting place. So, the plan, uh, uh, you know, the, the next phase is to actually go drill this uh, PYC target. So we will be drilling eighteen holes uh, as the minimum um, this fall. Uh, you know, actually starting in about three weeks, and uh, for a total of about thirty five hundred meters. Uh, we might extend that to 4,000 meters. We do have other targets uh, very, you know, close by uh, where we collected some, some pretty decent grade nickel, copper, cobalt uh, mineralization. So, uh, 
it's a very, very exciting play. Um, and particularly the fact that the logistics of this project uh, are, are actually uh, quite, uh, quite good. So for uh, the HPM project, then you've got a, a plan uh, for the fall. What about uh, for your project in Saskatchewan? What, what are your upcoming uh, you know, milestones that investors can look forward to? In, uh, in, in Saskatchewan, uh, we plan on doing some infill and outfill drilling on the Brabant McKenzie deposit, uh, probably starting in uh, February, March uh, next, uh, next year. So roughly five, six months from now. Um, and because that's the, the best time to, to go drill. <laughs> um, yeah. and, uh, uh, and then uh, we also plan to do uh, uh, a few holes, exploration holes on the uh, Barot uh, project uh, north of Aldor. So that's, uh, that's right in the shadow of, uh, of a known uh, VMS deposit that, uh, that uh, hosts about 17 million tons of uh, resources uh it was partially mined uh we're you know best place to look for nor bodies right next to another one uh particularly when it comes to vms deposits so uh we're we're pretty excited uh, about the baroque project uh, as well now it's much earlier you know uh more grassroots if you want to call it that but it's uh it's a very good place to be so lots of news flow that the investors can look forward to over the upcoming months that's right that's right we're uh, I, all you know our Exploration team uh, made up of uh, essentially four geologists. Uh, they're, they're all anxious to hit the ground running at uh, HPM. That's great. Well, I'd like to thank you for your time. I think that's a good update. Um, I, I'm speaking with uh, JC Potbam, who's the chairman and CEO president of Murchison Minerals. Uh, thanks for your time today, JC. Thank you, Chris.